All right, what's up everybody? Back again with some exposed wires in the background. But pretty light month because I was out of town for a weekend and uh, actually most of my, ironically, most of my pickups came from out of town. I'm gonna try to go in kind of chronological order here. But I was in Anaheim over the weekend, two weeks and two weekends ago. So I dropped by, uh, not Disneyland, but downtown Disney. Picked up the Rogue One Droid Factory set. It's got four droids that may or probably will are not in the background. Uh, Rogue One. I know this guy is like in A-frame. Like literally A-frame. But uh, C2B5. I don't even know where the other three guys are. Who knows if they're even in there. And then also... That whole new series of these pins. I don't know if I can get this thing to focus this close. Ah, there we go. And then we'll just slide in with a little... Zoom here. So it's a Bobo Fett pin. It's like three dimensional. In front of the Slave One. I don't know if you've seen the background there. They're loading in Han and Carbonite. I thought that was pretty cool. There's a whole series. There's like seven of them. There's like a Ray on her speeder, a Luke on his speeder, a Jango Fett, a speeder bike one with the Scout Trooper. But this is, I just got this one. I think they're limited to, in case anybody was wondering, I think there are 6,000 or 8,000, which is not really limited for Disney pins, but. I just wanted it because it was Boba Fett and it was cool. I think it's a first, well, I'm pretty sure it's been on pins before, but this is the first time that I've seen the Slave One on a pin. And it was $16 too, by the way. But it's a limited edition of $6,000. That was right the first time. So that was pretty cool. Pretty happy about that. Um, the next pickup I got was from Frank and Sons. Uh, if you've never been there, it's pretty awesome. Like, it... it I didn't really know what we were getting into. I knew a little bit because I, was, I saw the comic strips video about it on their YouTube channel. So I figured I'd go swoop in and check it out. And there was, there literally had to have been 300 vendors there in booths. Um, and I did a lot of looking, but I was, it was kind of, I could have spent like my entire life savings there, but I was just trying to find some deals. And I did find one deal that was way too good to pass up. Um, I found the, R4-D23, it's the Build-A-Droid R2 or R4 unit from the D23 Expo um, in 20, either 2015 or 2016. I can't remember fully. Um, but when I picked it up and looked at the back, that was the price tag on it. And I asked, I was like, is this uh, 25? And he's like, yep. And I would whipped out 25 bucks and handed it to him and ran as fast as I could. Because these guys sell like, like 70, 80 bucks on eBay already. So that was the deal. I would say 90% of the stuff there was like the people know what they have and they're selling it for like street value or higher in some cases actually. But I was glad to find someone slip in. I'm only one uh, Droid Factory carded figure away from completing the set. I need the, the holographic R2, the one from the Walt Disney World Star Wars Awakens, I think. And then last but not least, I saw on Reddit on the Star Wars collecting page today, somebody posted up. Uh, near where I live that a target had AT ACT drivers and I used BrickSeek to check and there sure enough there was one right by me um, unfortunately it does have a fat razor mark on it the way that that happens is that you've probably seen me open cases of fresh figures before but there will be six of them laid down like this and then when they the uh, employees stocking the share shelves will uh, cut with a razor blade and it got cut so I decided to pick it up anyways because I'm not that anal when it comes to mintness. Uh, everything else on it's completely perfect, but it's an exclusive, so you know how those can be tried, trying to track down another one. And uh, I really like how he looks. I'm actually really happy with him. So that's it for the month of March. All right, everybody. Just kidding about that false. That was a false ending right there. Uh, I was actually uploading that video, and then I looked over and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to do my comics I picked up. And then I was like, yeah, I'll just do those next month. And then I was like, oh yeah, there's another box over here that I missed. So I, you know, didn't do any prep like I normally do on my videos. Just kidding. Some of them I actually prep for. This one, not so much. Um, but let's take a look. I know what's in the box. I honestly, I mean, it's going to be Walking Dead and Star Wars, but I don't know what's in here as far as exact issues and things. All right, so we got Star Wars 29. Looks like the regular cover. Looks pretty sweet. You got Yoda in there doing some Yoda stuff. You got 164 Walking Dead. One. Oh, I almost dropped it. 
would have been in not mint condition. This really weird cover of uh, Walking Dead 164. I don't, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a different senses shattering issue. If somebody knows like what this is supposed to be a ripoff of, tell me. Like I, I think I'm missing the the reference here. And then Walking Dead 165, just one cover. That is that. All right. And then on to this, which someday I'm going to do like a video. I could do a few videos. Like number one, how to shop on eBay. And I know that sounds like a really stupid video, but trust me guys, I've been doing eBay since like 99 or 97. Um, but this is something that I actually saw at Frankenstein's that I was talking about. And I wanted $25. There's only one of them there. And I was like, yeah, I'll pass because I usually go for like 20 bucks on eBay and I'll say $5 because $5 is $5. But then I got home and the seller had it for like literally like it was under $8 shipped. So it's basically retail and free shipping, which on eBay is some sort of a miracle. And it's super mint, um, at least for how mint these cards are because the way they're like pressed together, they don't look mint ever, but it is, trust me. Anyways, Stormtrooper. Uh, squad leader. So this means I officially am down to one Just one more force awakens toy For a regular three and three quarter inch carded and I'm done and that's helmetless Kylo Ren. Hopefully I Find him soon and or just break down and buy him on eBay because he goes for like 20 bucks as well But that is it. This is the real ending of the video. Thanks for watching. I am out